how bad is the range on the DJI Mini 3 Pro with the RC controller? It's a question I have been asked so many times. So today, let's find out. So let's go and do a range test on this drone and go as far as we can until it disconnects. And then we're gonna talk about this, about giving you my opinion about this signal and the overall performance on this drone. But before we begin this test, it is important to note some key points about anything to do with the signal on any drone. The range is always going to be different Different for everybody the location is always going to be different so whilst one person may have a really good performance someone else might not it's always going to be different it's always more important to have a better signal where you are flying to capture the photos and videos that you want also this is incredibly boring flying from one point to another in a straight line is not creative at all and i do not like doing this and also it is not allowed in many countries so make sure before doing any range test which i really don't recommend you doing it is actually allowed in your country that being said let's go and find out what the performance is like on this drone the dji mini 3 pro with the rc controller so in this location, I've got up super early to do this. So there's nobody else around. I'm going to be keeping a fairly consistent height. Once the signal starts to drop, I will increase the height. But to start with, I'm just going to keep it around about 30 meters, 30 or 40 meters. And then it's going in one straight line here. I'm going to talk about why I don't like doing this also throughout the video. So as we go on here, you can see, if just keep the marker on the top right hand corner where the RC strength signal is. This is what you want to be keeping a look at. So at the moment, we've got full bars. About 30 meters in height and just approaching 100 meters. And what a awesome, stunning location this is. And what I am looking forward to is showing you this location from the footage that I have filmed here. It was also a really nice break, but I did bring the DJI Mini 3 Pro. That's probably the only drone you can bring here or any small drone. But I did capture some fantastic footage here, which I cannot wait to show you. So at the moment we're approaching the 400 meter mark, still at 30 meters in height, still got full bars of signal. I've turned my sensors off. This is just to keep the speed consistent. Once the obstacle avoidance will detect anything like these trees underneath, it will slow the drone down a bit. I wanna just keep it at consistent speed. Also the battery life on here. I will talk about this in another video, but it's ridiculously hot here. It's around about 40 degrees, so it has affected battery life. But for the morning, that's why I'm up early. It hasn't affected this test. So how are we getting on now? Let's look now. So we can see now we've dropped some signal bars. It's fluctuating between, it looks like three and four bars. Around about 800 meters, two and a half thousand feet is what we're going at. Still at 30 meters in height. And you can see now on the attitude indicator in the bottom left hand corner, I am pointing directly at the drone. So this is pointing directly at it, which I do recommend. Make sure you're, you're not covering the sensors with your hands and it's actually pointing in the direction. So we're now up to a thousand meters, 3,200 feet. It's about three bars of signal. I'm still fairly low, so I still know that I can increase that altitude and go a little bit further if I need to. But at the moment, it's still nice and smooth. As soon as it starts to become laggy and choppy, that is useless to me as a creator. I need it to be super smooth. I'm also going to increase the height now to about 60 meters. This should improve the signal. The battery life is still doing well as well. I think it's about 85% battery currently. And then we can see here, it's still a not laggy feed. The signal has improved now to four bars of signal by increasing that altitude. And we're just gonna continue now. We're at 4,600 feet, about 1,400 meters which is where we're going to get the first dropout. So you can see now I've gone down to two bars and it's paused. We've got the weak signal adjust antennas. So in this situation now, this is where the feed is going to get laggy and I would just not bother going any further. I will do for the benefit of this test. I'm gonna increase the altitude again. I'm gonna keep increasing it until I get some bars of signal. As you can see, it's dropping out a lot. Two bars now between one and two bars. I can still fly forward. It's just that the feed hasn't caught up to me as a live feed yet and now i've got the return to home no transmission message come on normally if you just continue by hovering in place now just whilst i do that i'm going to change my return to home altitude the signal will come back to you and if it doesn't it will just start to automatically return to home so i've increased my height now to about 100 meters just short of 100 meters and i've now got two bars of signal it's still pretty crap isn't it 1638 meters i can continue but at this point 
Why would you want to? You're not going to be able to get any decent footage from me at the moment in this area. You know, with a, a performance like this, it's not going to be anything cinematic. Yes, I can fly forward in a big straight line, but really, is it really worth it? These uh, specs you'll see of certain distances, these are in perfect conditions, windless, perfect, unobstructive, no Wi-Fi interference areas. That's never going to happen in real life. But this for 2000 meters, just short of 6,300 feet, then this is where we lose signal and it's now disconnected from the aircraft. If it does this to you, don't worry, it will automatically return back to you with the return to home that's built in. And this is what it's now doing, so coming back to me. And I found in quite a few locations that this seems to be the magic number on the RC in certainly in this area where the aircraft will just disconnect. So you can see now in this location, I mean, almost like the mountains in some valley. And this location was stunning. And I will be showing you this in more detail in a more cinematic style video. But you can see now that that magic number again is when it starts to disconnect. Let's look at the RC at the top and look at the distance at the bottom. We're at around about the 2000 meter mark and again we're getting the weak signal at just antennas. Now here there's hardly anything obstructing my view whatsoever. Big open space, not much in, res in regards to interference and around about that mark again 2300 so it got a bit further now um, and that's when it starts to disconnect. That for me is more than enough. I will never need that. I'm always round about the 500 meter mark away getting cinematic style shots making sure that that feed is brilliant and it is for me it's always perfect and i'm able to get everything high collapses active track cinematic shots pans everything i do is always fairly close to me around about the 500 meter mark at the most so i would never do this i would never do the flying of flying a thousand meters away and then get cinematic shots because i know that that feed is going to be laggy and that for me is no good so what we'll be showing over the next few videos is this stunning place this fantastic area where I was able to capture some great shots and I hope you enjoy it. So all these shots now are going to be coming soon. So I'm going to be showing you different color grading techniques, LUTs, showing you this awesome waterfall, showing you hyperlapses, some nighttime shots and showing you how to get the best out of your DJI Mini 3 Pro. And getting the best out of it is not going to be flying in a straight line from A to B. So it's capable of it. It's not going to be fantastic, but for me, it's still a fantastic drone. Take care guys. See you soon. Bye bye.